Hi, my name is Brian Hawkins. I'm CEO and co-founder of Mia Prova and senior partner at Analytics Demystified, where I oversee the testing and optimization practices there. I'm pretty well known in the optimization community when it comes to Adobe Target, having co-authored the, the only book on Adobe Target, having spent many years working at Alphamatica, Omniture, and Adobe. I'm pretty active in Measure Slack, and a lot of uh, users of Adobe Target reach out to me with different questions across like Twitter, Measure Slack, email, what have you. And a few of them ask that I start documenting some of the responses uh, and some of the different use cases that would be helpful. So I thought I'd, I'd give, a, give this a trial. So in this particular use case, what I'm going to talk to you about is activity conversions. Uh, it's something I've blogged about regularly, uh, and it, it's one of the more powerful connections between Adobe Target and, and Adobe Analytics. It's kind of like a free bonus success event. So this particular use case, is, it's not in Sears, but I'm, I'm using Sears uh, because of the way that their navigation is set up. It's very similar to a, another B e-commerce site that uh, leverages this, this approach quite often, uh, but it's really, really applicable to so many different things. So in Adobe Target, I've got um, you know a particular test set up any which way that we want, uh, but we have special code that we created. So this is for a navigation test. Each one of these different selectors creates an overlay, and you've got all of this content within here. So this particular function that we have here, uh, essentially, we grab this ID, this selector, which is the the navigation and we append uh, a parameter to each one. So it identifies if there's a URL parameter already in place. If so, it uses the ampersand. If not, it uses the question mark. And so it's a nice way to automatically put that in place. And what that looks like, I've pasted it in the console here. You can see that every URL within this particular section has T equals C. So this is a nice way to understand in the in a, um, analysis of this test, the visitors are actually engaging and, and arriving um, at the links by way of the test. So you can see here, if in case there's multiple ways that people can arrive at that test. So um, that code that I use is, is, would simply be used across all the different testing iterations. Um, and how we use this in Analytics Workspace is we select A for T, or uh, this is how we do it, it's select Adobe Analytics as the report suite. Then down here, we would choose conversion. Now, of course we can use an analytics metric, but this is a, is a wasted opportunity. Uh, you get, by selecting Adobe Analytics here, you get all of that metrics in Analytics Workspace to do your analysis any which way that you want. Conversion actually takes an Adobe target metric and ports it over to Analytics Workspace to do your analysis. So conversion, you can do view a page, viewed an inbox. Uh, this is popular with a lot of the legacy um, uh, legacy users of Adobe Target. Also very, very helpful if there's unfamiliarity with the metrics in place in certain pages. Clicked an element. I absolutely love this. There are some nuances to this as well. Uh, the click tracking here, which is just uh, awesome. Like you can track clicks and, and, and go on your way and you automatically created click tracking. There are nuances, especially if um, there's other uh, click tracking in place with app measurements or what have you. So uh, what I often use, I don't use clicked an element as much as I do view to page. And so in this particular scenario, I know by having T equals C that if the URL happens to come from any of those, that came from the click tracking that was put in place uh, with this function that was included with the offer. Now, when it comes to analyzing this in Analytics Workspace, this is how it all comes together. So you can see here, activity conversions is very, very important. You need to have the same touch uh, attribution model. And that's it. That will allow you to bring your Adobe, Anal or Adobe Target metric over to Adobe Analytics for analysis. 
Uh, while I'm here, you can see here activity impressions. That's another thing I get asked about quite a bit. Uh, what that represents, uh, also you have to make sure you apply the same touch attribution as well uh, in order for the data to show up correctly. But what this represents is how many times the offer was presented to the page. Very similar to page views, um, but it's limited to the scope of where the test is running. So a, a very helpful way to think about it is um, it's how many times the code or the offer from Adobe Target was injected to the test location. So thanks for watching.